hello everyone welcome back to bpo interview tutorials and i hope you guys are doing really well so today we came up with an another six sigma concept uh, that is smart analysis what is smart analysis we will see in upcoming slides so before moving to the video i would like everyone please do share subscribe the channel also click on bell icon guys so that you will get all the notification of our upcoming videos do check the playlist you will get a video related to training quality operations associate kra you will also find some videos related to reports and dashboards along with excel tricks and many more are there guys people management videos are also there please do check uh, playlist you will get to know many more and crack your interviews so today we came up with an interesting concept that is smart analysis what is smart analysis guys please implement this concept it will really help you out solving the multiple problems let's see guys how to use that and what is the meaning of smart so guys uh, basically uh, smart analysis which means if you have a plan in your project okay once you plan a project turn your attention to developing several goals that will enable you be successful so that can be done with the help of smart analysis for an example you're working on one of the project okay in that project although you were getting some revenue you are also getting some good scores as well but to make that more clear more valuable you can use this method that is smart analysis guys it will help you in understanding your project in more better way so what is this smart smart basically comes up with s m a r t there are five different words because of that it, they have just cleared it in the six sigma with name as smart so smart S specifies specific, M stands for measurable, A stands for attainable, R stands for relevant, and T stands for time bound. So attainable, it's a, I guess a new term for you guys maybe, which means achievable and acceptable. Relevant, which means meaningful or related. Time bound, which means time based or timely or trackable, we can say that so how you can use this we will see in our coming video the goal might be to hold a weekly project meeting with the key members of your team or to organize or run a continuous test program throughout the project so basically guys there is no any rock and science that you guys need to develop for the smart analysis it can be done on a documents as well just you would record all the required things that you want to implement in your project to make it more better and uh, more successful in the future so let's start the meaning of the specific things uh, or I can say the uh, meaning of all the SMART. The first one is uh, specific. I, I hope you guys have gone through my video that is on PDCA, Plan to Check Act. Okay, four terms are there. We can use it in a different project. I explained you very clearly there. In the same way, you can also use the SMART analysis, but the way of PDCA is different and the way and the use of the smart is different both have a different uh, way to utilize that so don't, don't mix up with that but yes the way how i use pdca you can use the same as an example but there should be a goal where you want to utilize this so first one is specific specific which means for an example you're working with a calling process wherein the quality everything is stable you guys do not have any issues but that can't be constant right for that you guys need to plan uh, prior so that uh, the things can be sustained for the long time so for that specific which means well defined and clear to anyone who had a basic knowledge of the product the person who is coming to you or who is coming near to you or maybe newly joined to the process he should have a basic knowledge and can, he can easily understand this uh, particular thing next measurable know when it has been achieved and meaningful and motivation uh, motivational basically guys for an example that uh, uh, you can use the smart analysis with your uh, uh, colleagues as well for an example you are a team lead a new team lead came to the company and you want to train him for that you should use the smart analysis it will work there wherein you need to specify uh, all the basic things so that he can know about the project okay he should get a meaningful information okay measurable and he can uh, that should be along with the motivational acceptable which means agreement with the stakeholder or the what the right goal should be uh, for an example you are going with the uh, client and uh, there should be an agreement between you and client that you will be delivering so and so 
by the end of uh, this project what you guys are implementing for an example the client is much worried about the the scores so make sure the scores are getting achieved realistic or relevant which means within the availability of the resources knowledge and time and result oriented which means that the the headcount what you have received that will be your resources okay the systems the systems the techniques okay the time everything you should need to consider here and that, that should be done with the available uh, things guys okay and it should be result oriented the last one is time based which means to achieve that particular goal the time should be decided the deadline should be decided that you will be uh, take not taking too much of time so that the project will get impacted so in this way you can use this smart analysis guys it will surely help you out and this can be used with a client this can you can use with your individual team member you can use this with your the newly hired person who you want to train so every way you can use this but make sure because of this five steps uh, you can train to the next orders you can get a benefit or success in your uh, life uh, on the basis of the project or which you are working so that's it that is the basic about the smart analysis guys so if if uh, in in the interview if you're getting such kind of questions recently like i i would say about my example my manager was uh, asking me few things and suddenly he named out smart and i was aware about this particular thing and i answered uh, this very clearly so you can also just learn to this particular term and give the answers very clearly and make your impression really well still if you have any doubt please share your feedback uh, in the comment section you guys also can check out the facebook instagram and the linkedin page wherein you will be getting notification and information related to the upcoming vacancies in india related to the any of the field maybe any of the designations i can say with the same field of bpo okay with the different designation like trainer team lead associate quality wfm many more are there so please do check out and uh, share and subscribe our channel that's all guys thanks a lot thanks for watching have a great day